En este video les voy a enseñar cómo hacer una chihuahua. What's up? Welcome back to the channel, my balloon peeps. Hopefully you're doing well today. Um, thank you for the, all to all my new subscribers. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hopefully you've been enjoying the videos. Uh, you know, make sure to uh, check out the playlist so you can see some of the designs that are over there. Um, and then what else? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the um, the, the balloons we're going to use to make this. And also stick around for the like and really like portion of the channel. So let's go ahead and first look at the balloons. So to make this design, I got three balloons. I have a little piece of a black balloon. That can, this is a 160, you can do a one, uh, 260, obviously. No problem, because we just need that little bit for the nose. We're gonna use this for the big goofy eyes. Um, you could definitely draw in the eyes if you wish to do so. They don't have to be these you know, big googly eyes. And so, uh, far as the, the 260, um, I've uh, blown it up, softened it. I left over a hands uh, grip, and now you see that? I still have enough to flick there. And then also, I left the tail on the end here as well, okay? We're gonna use this when it comes time to uh, go from the head portion to the body portion, okay? Um, I did something like this when I was uh, sharing the cat that I did a while ago. There was like a little cat bracelet. Um, it's using the same, same principle, just in a different spot is all it is, okay? So um, I'll get to that one, you know, when we when we start to actually twist this, I'll tell you when we're gonna do it. So for the meantime, while we're, while we're starting to make this, um, don't lose, uh, you know, don't let this get wrapped up and hidden so you can't find it, okay? So we're gonna do about four fingers for our ear. Go ahead and lock that in there. And then we'll do about three fingers here, portion for the uh, the little head. And then we'll do another, uh, another ear. Now, very important, when you go to make this ear, let me give it a quick squish there. When you go to do this ear, um, very important that, because uh, we're gonna go back across this way, this one could come undone. So just be mindful of that, okay? I'm gonna hold on to it. Now this portion that's coming across is bigger than this, okay? There we go, good. And I could still lose that ear. So I'm not too worried about it right now because I am holding on to it. Now we can go, go, go back across this way and give our little, Chihuahua, his little snout. Okay, so there we are. So I just re-gripped over here. See that? So I got this one and this one, and they're about uh, they're about two fingers. Now I can twist into the the ear there, and it'll hold pretty well. Okay. And so that portion I was talking about that you can draw on it if you wish to do so. Uh, you could draw the eyes right there if you don't want to put the big googly eyes. Okay. So let me go and hold that up. All right. So now what I'm doing. You see, I have this nozzle over here. I want the balloon to be centered here, and the way I'm going to accomplish that is I will, I'm, I'm giving this a little bit of a stretch across, and see it's more or less in the middle there. I could hold it there if I need to. Now I can take this piece of balloon, and wrap it around, then come right back to where it came from, and then secure it back to where it came from. There you go. Okay. So this is what we got. So far, so good. And that puts it right behind the uh right behind the back of the head there where their where their neck would normally start anyway okay and so now we can go ahead and do a bubble pinch twist that in the last portion of the actual dog's body now it's just going to be uh, just your just a standard little little body so we got a, sing a little small bubble followed by two other smaller bubbles there we go then turn that see that and we'll finish up at the end here. Good. Good. Now, if you wondered, uh, you might have seen me like blowing on the uh, the balloon a couple times like this, like real quick, and <laughs> like it's because um, I have my I have black lab that comes in and out of here sometimes uh, when I'm not filming and her hair will just start floating in the air and the balloon will pick it up no problem so anyway um, let's go ahead and get to the rest of this design shall we I'm gonna go ahead and grab the nose so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it down to the bottom here okay there we go and what I'm doing is um, I'm gonna pull it down pretty tight that way we don't lose it uh, but I just want it to sit right there, okay? I don't want it to go down in between the uh, the folder. I don't want the nose doing that. It's probably okay that it does do that. I'm not too worried about whether whether or not it does. Um, but I just want it to stay there in place. That's all I want. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
pull that balloon or, or pull that around underneath the nose there. You see that how I did that? Okay. And so now what happens is I want those eyes to sit right there. So what's going to happen is um, I'm going to use this piece of balloon to secure it. And what's going to happen is this is going to go all the way through to the pinch twist there on the back of the head there. Okay. Does that make sense? Maybe kind of sort of, please shake your head. Yes. Actually, if you agree that that is true and that's going to work, give it a thumbs up. Would you? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and split this baby in half. Okay. There we go. So now what I can do is use that to secure it in place. Okay. So that's going to help those eyes stay there. All right. So now all I'm going to do is just feed this piece of balloon through the back. And this will be the, the hardest part of the whole thing. And that's what I'm saying that if you want to skip that piece and you want to just draw on the eyes on that one portion, that's okay too. Alrighty. But uh, I think this is uh, to, to put the eyes on that and make them like big goofy eyes is well worth the effort uh, to do this. Alrighty. So, so now that I got it through the back here, now I can just wrap it around a couple times. That's all it'll need. And then you just, when it's over the top there, you can just snap it and let it fall, let it hide. Okay, there we go. And so now we've successfully made ourselves <laughs> a little a little chihuahua. And now I'm just gonna uh, add on, I'm just gonna draw in the little eyes um, instead of, you know, you could, again, this is one of those things, if you got time, you do it. If you don't, you don't, you know, no biggie. Um, you could definitely go in, uh, split some, you know, some 160 eyes and actually, you know, put balloon pupils. In this case, I'm just gonna draw them on there because I think that they'll look pretty cute. And just to make them like a little more spazzy, um, I might do one one eye, you know, cockeyed or crazy, you know, and, and then the other one normal or something. See that? <laughs> so it's like really, he's just really spazzing out. And then on top of that, if you ever had a little chihuahua dog, you realize that, uh, that sometimes their their fur is so short or whatever that they're like shaking or whatever. So anyway, <laughs> there it is. There's a, a little chihuahua that you can make. I'm probably gonna add this to not a, not only to the quarantine list, but my, probably my uh, Cinco de Mayo uh, balloon playlist as well. So anyway, um, let's get to the. Uh, the like and really like portion of the channel because I was just thinking about it because I was playing the song uh, earlier today and that is the um, the song from the 80s it's uh, take on me from aha which is a cool song already I, I really like that song but um, I, I already said I really like for that song but um, I also really like the uh, mariachi version as well so um, I, I didn't bring up the aha one because uh, obviously you guys have seen it or heard it before um, but in case you haven't heard the mariachi version, um, here it is right here, just for a second. I'll be coming for your love, okay? On me. So yeah, so I think I think that uh, that version is really, really cool and I really, really like it. And um, I'll link it in the description below. That way you can go find it for yourself and enjoy it. Um, I actually liked it so much that I bought, they had like this uh, real uh, short album on you, uh, on iTunes, excuse me. And, uh, and I went and grabbed it. And so anyway, um, thank you very much for hanging out with me. Hopefully you like the, the, the balloon tutorial, the like and really like section of the channel. It's just something I've been having fun with and just sharing some stuff with you guys, you know, about, you know, what do I listen to? Or what do I do when I'm not making balloon tutorials or practicing balloons? So um, again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, bell notification, all that fun stuff. Um, and so I'll see you guys next time. Happy to listen everybody. Adios. Shh. <laughs>